Welcome back everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about computed properties in Vue. So far, we have learned quite a few ways to display data in the UI. You can have static HTML, you can bind data properties using text interpolation, you can have simple expressions inside the mustache syntax, and you can also call methods which return values that can be rendered in the browser. To add to this list, we have computed properties. What exactly are they? Well, computed properties are properties that can be bound to the template similar to data properties. They're used for composing new data from existing sources. A very important point about them is that they are highly performant as they're basically cached calculations which only update when their dependencies change. Now this description seems more complex than it actually is. So let's head back to VS Code and understand all about computed properties in Vue. We're going to begin fresh with an empty template and an empty data object. I'm going to add two new data properties. First name, Bruce, and last name, Wayne. Let's say we now need to display the full name. We can easily achieve that with text interpolation. So in the template, an h2 tag, full name, hyphen, first name, and last name. If we save the file and take a look at the browser, we see full name as Bruce Wayne. Now it's also possible to achieve this exact same result using computed properties. Let's see how. In the script blocks default export, similar to data and methods, we can add another property called a computed property which can be specified as a function. For our example, we are going to define a computed property called full name. So computed is the property which is an object. This object will have a key, which is a computed property. For our example, let's call this property full name. This property will simply return the first name along with the last name. Return this dot first name followed by this dot last name. Now in the template, we can bind the full name computed property using the mustache syntax. So h2 tag again, computed full name, and with mustache syntax, bind full name. If you take a look at the browser, you can see the same result. So what we have done is composed a new data property from existing data properties. Full name, as you can see, is a property composed from first name and last name. In the browser though, both represent the same UI. Which brings us to the question, why would we use computed properties over data properties? Well, there are a few things to go over. For starters, the property full name is more descriptive of the data that it represents rather than a combination of first name and last name in the template. Also, if a property needs to be rendered in multiple places, computed property makes much more sense. A JavaScript expression that is repeated in multiple places only makes it harder to maintain the code. Let's look at an example to justify this point. I'm going to copy paste a new data property. The property is called items and is an array of objects. Each object contains an ID, a title, and a price. We have a TV for 100, a phone for 200, and a laptop for 300. Assume these are the items in your cart on an e-commerce site. If you have to display the total cost of all these items, we could do that in the template. So another h2 tag, total is items.reduce, which gives us the total and the current item as arguments. And all we are going to do is return 
total is equal to total plus current price. So current dot price. And the initial value of total is zero. If we now save the file and take a look at the browser, we see the total as 600. Suppose you have to display this total on the cart icon as well as the order summary. You could duplicate this expression, but as you might have already guessed, it would mean that you have to maintain the same code in multiple places. If you have to add a discount on the order total, you would have to tweak your code in more than one place. Also, mustache syntax with data properties should be used to bind simple data and not perform complex logical operations. The right approach is to use a computed property. So in the computed object, define another property called total. Return the expression we have defined in the template. Return this dot items dot reduce. In the template, simply bind the computed property. So h2 tag computed total within mustache syntax, the computed property total. If you take a look at the browser, the output remains the same. But this time, the total can be reused in multiple places, but can be maintained in one single place. Now what is also great about computed properties is that they are automatically recalculated if their dependencies change. Let's understand with an example. So back in VS Code, in the template, I'm going to remove the old total and replace it with a button. This button is to push another object into the items array. So the text is add item and on click of this button, simply push an object. So items dot push ID is going to be four. Title is keyboard and price is 50. If we now go back to the browser, we have the total as 600 and the button to add an item. When I click on the button, you can see that the total automatically updates to 650. So remember, whenever the dependencies change, the property is computed. For the total computed property, the dependency is the items array. Since the items array changes on button click, the total is recomputed and the value 650 is rendered in the browser. As a developer, you don't have to worry about letting Vue know that it has to recalculate the total. Vue takes care of it for us. Okay, so computed properties do have advantages over data properties in certain scenarios as we have just seen. But you might have another question. Well, the computed property is some logic encapsulated in a function. Can I not simply use a method for this purpose? Well, let me answer that question in the next video.